Okay, this is a follow-up on a review that I did on this Steinhardt GMT Ocean 1 or Ocean GMT 1. It actually says Ocean GMT 1 on the face and some people refer to it as the GMT Ocean 1. But this is a follow-up regarding an issue that I had with the bracelet. And the bracelet and the watch itself is very high quality except for one thing on the bracelet. This clasp this folding mechanism here is, is heavy. You can see it's a heavy piece of metal. But you can see, let me close it like this. You can see now this clasp is relatively straight. These two pieces that fold together here, you can see how they're almost straight. Before, they had a significant curve. You can see the curve in these two pieces. And when you put this together, Okay, the curve does not meet the same curve here. So, so what happens is when this is clasped in, this piece sits up a little bit here, up away from the band instead of sitting flush like this. See, this has too much curve to it in my opinion. Don't know why they did that. I've compared this to some other watches with similar clasps that I have, which lay flat and no problem whatsoever with this having less curve in it. So I'm not sure what Steinhardt was thinking about there. Now m many users would and say so what I did was I straightened this piece and now I'll put it on wrist and you can see now let's let that focus in there we go now it sits much flatter just like any other bracelet. This does not stick up like this. It sits much flatter. And now you also notice some scratches here on this piece. This watch does scratch fairly easily. This piece is, is kind of smooth and it, and it does, it, it could use a little bit more of a brush finish to it to, to hide scratches. But this is a, you know, this is a watch I'm going to wear. I mean, this is, this is a sport watch and I wear these steel sport watches for relatively heavy duty use and so a few scratches here and there are just part of the game. I will say that my titanium Seiko has not scratched yet and it's that new uh, Dia Shield or however you pronounce it, uh, titanium that they're using that is very hard stuff. But back to the Steinhardt, this quick easy mod just straightening that piece underneath there a little bit helps with this laying down much flatter and really help solve that issue, that particular issue, with the bracelet. If I was going to upgrade this bracelet, this piece here, I would go with a thicker piece. This is just a pressed piece, as is this. This is not very thick, not very heavy duty. And the way this clips on here, like the old-fashioned Rolexes with this piece of metal, that's potentially a weak point. I have read where people have had that actually break off. You know, it should last, but Again, the way the Seikos have the, the push, push in release, it seems to be a little bit better set up. And of course, the newer Omegas and things like that have gone to a better release. So if they could upgrade this clasp on this watch, that would be a big plus. Because the rest of the bracelet, the links are very nice, very solid, very good. They have screw-in adjustments for changing the, the adjustment. So everything else about this watch, the case, the face, the bezel, the band, everything else is great. This clasp, you know, it, it's functional, it works, but that could use an upgrade. But in the meantime, if you have one of these and you got the problem with it sticking up, this is the mod that you can do to the bracelet to fix that issue. So thank you for watching and sh as always share your comments and sh search my channel for keyword watch and you'll see my other watch reviews. Thank you.